up everyone? I'm your female Taku and I'm here to review episode 18 of Little Witch Academia. And it looks like we'll be focusing on the side characters for a little bit because you know last week we focused on Amanda and this time we're focusing on Constance which I didn't think would happen but I'm really glad it did. So this week next week we're going to be focusing on Worst Girl Jasminka. Wild Hunt season is a go and Wild Hunt is one of a bunch of these guys. Basically Ghostbusters now that I think about it because they're just kind of vanquishing ghosts. And I have to do this within 12 days. And Constance was allowed to participate in the witch hunt on the final day. So she was preparing her little, you know, inventions and stuff, getting ready for the final day. Because it seemed like, it wasn't really explained, but after looking at a picture, it seemed that her father was a part of the witch hunts. Although, Constance looked pretty angry in that photo, if you paid attention. I, I, I'm not too sure if that's really the case if she if her father was a part of the witch hunts so she was inspired by her father to do this i'm not too sure because again she looked angry as fuck in that picture but maybe she just doesn't like taking pictures constance likes to work alone and after akko broke one of constance's machines akko decides to force her help on to constance and constance just like no you're ruining everything get the fuck out obviously she didn't say that but her actions basically said that i gotta say it's pretty funny when akko was just getting all tangled up in Constance's other machines. Like when Akko found her way down to Constance's little lab. When Akko got shot back up as well. And when Akko kept on trying to help Constance and stuff. And then it suddenly got faster and faster and her voice got more and more high pitched. Just, ah oh man, Akko ridiculous as always. But this didn't last for long as Constance decided to work with Akko when Akko was able to get items that Constance couldn't get herself. And it was working out pretty well. And and in the end, they ended up making a, a mech. Huh. I gotta be honest, I did not expect a mech to appear in this series, but since this is Trigger, they haven't made mechs in a while, unless if you want to count Space Patrol, Luluko, there were some elements of, of mechs in there, but other than that, they really haven't made any mech series in a while because Trigger, you know, the Trigger staff is a part of Gynax, or some of, I should say, some of the staff from Gynax came over to make Trigger, so Gynax made a few mech shows. <laughs> so I guess this was a throwback to them old days. They were like, hey, it's been a while since we made a mech. Why don't we make something crazy as this where a, sh a flying ship for witches can turn into a freaking mech that where in the end it does a complete and utter really long ridiculous name for a simple punch. Let's go. Remember how last week I was saying how I don't understand why Croa is causing mayhem everywhere Akko goes? What's the point of just going out and just, you know, wreaking havoc for what it seemed like no particular reason other than to test Akko's skills, but last week Akko didn't do much. It was Amanda going in, so what was the point? After a confrontation between Ursula, Sensei, and Croa, Ursula mentions fuel spirits. So when causing a panic amongst the people around the area, it fuels these machines. So I guess she's just collecting more and more fuel for a bigger project, making these robots stronger. I'm not too sure. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this episode. Has Constance now become one of your best girls or has she moved up in the best girl ranking for you? Honestly, basically all the girls are best girls except for, you know. Jasminka for me. But hey, I, I, at the pace we're going, I guess maybe I'll like Jasminka next week if it's a Jasminka-based episode. I don't know what you can do with a Jasminka-based episode, but anyway, catch me later as I review Akashic Records and Suka Suka. I'm your female otaku, sayonara.